You may have heard talk about antibiotics and chicken. And you may have concerns. So do chicken farmers. We're all consumers and we all want to make the best choices for our families. So let's make sure we have the facts. We need to get something out of the way first. There's a big difference between residues and resistance. No matter what you hear, remember, when you eat chicken, you're not eating the antibiotics it may have been fed. There are strict regulations governing how much time passes between when a chicken is last treated with antibiotics and when it is sent to the processing plant. It's called a withdrawal period, and it ensures that residues aren't in the meat. And it's inspected. And there hasn't been an issue with residues in chicken meat in Canada in decades. That's it. Chicken is not full of antibiotics. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Resistance is a different issue entirely. Resistance is when bacteria stop responding or don't respond as well to antibiotics. It's a phenomenon that predates man-made antibiotics. However, any antibiotic use in humans or animals can lead to resistance. What antibiotic resistance means is that a greater number of illnesses are becoming harder to treat. And that can be scary. The responsibility of resistance issues is shared with both human and animal medicine. So, chicken farmers are trying to take themselves out of the equation. That's why they're implementing a strategy now that ensures that antibiotics are used responsibly to protect animal health. And the entire chicken industry is working hard to reduce use, research alternatives, and educate both farmers and consumers. So, can farmers use antibiotics? Yes, farmers can use antibiotics in chicken farming to protect the health and welfare of the birds. Antibiotics are given to treat the birds when they are sick and to prevent them from getting sick in the first place. But all antibiotics aren't created equal. They come in categories, from category one, which are the most important antibiotics in human medicine, to category four, which aren't even used by humans. The antibiotics used most often in humans are not the same ones used most often in chicken production. In fact, nearly 60% of all the antibiotics used in chicken production are not used in human medicine, and farmers are working to reduce overall use. In fact, the chicken industry banned the preventative use of Category 1 antibiotics in 2014. It's a big step and demonstrates that chicken farmers are committed to ensuring the future effectiveness of antibiotics for humans and animals. Canadian chicken is available to consumers in a wide variety of choices. From conventional to raised without the use of antibiotics to organic, so you can always make the choice you're most comfortable with. But remember, no matter what type of chicken you buy, your role is important too. Good practices in your kitchen can reduce risk of contamination by any bacteria, resistant or not. Just follow the rules you've always known. Clean, wash your hands and surfaces often, use soapy water. Separate, don't cross-contaminate. Keep raw chicken away from other foods and use separate cutting boards. Cook, cook to proper temperatures, 180 degrees Fahrenheit for whole chicken and 165 degrees for parts. Chill, refrigerate promptly. You'd be surprised to learn just how stringent the rules and regulations for chickens raised in Canada really are. Farmers are proud to raise the chickens Canadians trust and they are proud to serve this chicken to their own families. Ask a farmer. Know the facts. Learn more at www.chickenfarmers.ca.